Boys and girls watching, I don't know about you, but oh, it smells so good right now. On this paper is something that I love. It smells so good. Peanuts. Peanuts. It is. I love to eat peanut butter. It is my favorite, and you make peanut butter from peanuts. And so I wonder how many peanuts are on our paper. Let's see, count in your brain. Popcorn. Jonathan. 17. How many? 17. Not 17. Elijah. 15. 15. Good job, sit down. There are 15 peanuts on our paper today. So we are going to write the number 15. It starts on a red dot and we slant down to the pink carpet. Then we're going to go to the next red dot. We slant down just halfway. We curve up and make a half a ball. And then we go back and put on his hat at the ceiling today. I am excited about this paper. I like elephants. I like peanut butter. What more can you ask for? This is going to be a fun paper to do. But where do your eyes need to go? I'm the teacher. You have to stay with the teacher, follow directions, and do your best. Boys and girls, watch. I know you're going to work so hard today on this paper. Class, stand. Turn your chairs quietly into the table. And boys and girls watching, go ahead and prepare as well for this fun elephant paper today. Go ahead and take out your elephant paper. And your pencil. Yep, take the other one out. That was from yesterday. Good job. Nice. I see some pencils ready to go. I love your hard work. Daddy says, I love you. Mommy says, I love you. And the baby says, I love you. Pencil rest on a peanut. Pencil rest on a peanut. Miss Stewart's going to grab her chalk. And we are going to look at our number 15 today. I'm going to use my red chalk today. I start at the red dot and I slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I go back to the next red dot. I slant down halfway. I curve up and I make a ball. Touch the bottom of the floor to make the half a ball. And then I go back up and I put on his hat. I do. I put on his hat. Go to the first blue box. Go to the blue box. Let me help you. There we go. Begin. Slant down the pole. Then go to the next red dot. Slant down halfway. Curve up and around. Touch the bottom of the box and up. And then go back to the first or to the red dot on the ceiling and walk across. Now we're in the orange box. I start at the red dot. I'm going to slant down to the bottom of the box. I pick up my chalk or my pencil and I touch the red dot. I slant down. I curve up and around to make my ball touch the bottom of the box and curve up. Then I pick up my chalk and I walk across the ceiling to put on my hat. Pencil rest on the teacher car, or on the paper and look at Mrs. Stewart for just a minute. Make sure you go slow. Make sure you are staying with my words so that you can have nice number 15s. Don't rush it. Now go back to the orange box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Begin. Slant down. Pick up your pencil. Touch the red dot. Go halfway. Do not put the hat on first. The hat goes on last. Walk down. Curve up and around. Touch the bottom and up. Then go back to the red dot and put on the hat. Pencil rest on a peanut. When I'm tracing, you're watching. Good job, Myla. I like how her eyes are on me. 
Now I'm in the green box. I slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I pick up my pencil, I touch the red dot. I slant down halfway. I curve up and around and I touch the bottom of the box and go up. Then I pick up my pencil again, touch the red dot and walk across the ceiling to put on his hat. Remember the hat goes on last. When you get dressed in the morning, you can't put your hat on first. It'll be hard to put your clothes on. It's hard to get your shirt on over your hat. So the hat goes on last. Just like with number five, the hat goes on last. Go to the green box. Put your pencil on the red dot of the green box. Begin the first one. Slant down. Pick up your pencil, touch the next red dot. Slant down, curve up and around, touch the bottom of the box, and curve up. Then go back to the red dot, walk along the ceiling to put on your hat. I see some very nice tracing and you're staying on the lines and doing your best. Good job, make sure you're sitting up straight and tall. Shoulders are back. Mommy and Daddy are holding on tight and those babies are in their seat belt. Let's look at the purple box. I'm going to slant down all the way to the bottom of the box. Yes, then I pick up my pencil. I touch the red dot and I slant down halfway. I curve up and around. I touch the bottom of the box and go up. Then I pick up my pencil, touch the red dot, and I walk along the ceiling to put on my hat. I sure do. Go to the purple box. Begin, slant down. Then go back to the next dot, to the ceiling, slant down, halfway, curve up and around. Touch the bottom of the box and up. Go back to the red dot and walk along the ceiling. Did you go slow? Did you take your time so that you stayed right on those lines? You don't want to fall off. Go slow. All right, now we are in the yellow box, my favorite color. So I want to see some nice number 15s. I saw some beautiful ones in our last lesson, so I know that we're going to have some beautiful ones right now. So eyes on the ceiling, eyes on your elephant, eyes on me. Nice. All right, I'm going to slant down to the bottom of the box. Then I'm going to go back up to the ceiling to the red dot. I'm going to slant down. Then I curve up and around, touch the bottom of the box, and I curve up to make that half a ball. Then I go up to the ceiling, touch that red dot, and I walk along the ceiling to put on his hat. Go to the yellow box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Slant down. Go to the next red dot. Slant down halfway. Curve up and around. Go down to the box and curve up. Go back to the red dot and put on his hat. Wow. Getting even better. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Nice. We're getting there. Good job. Very nice job. How many peanuts are on this paper? Fifteen. Fifteen. That is right. And how did we make this number fifteen? Oh. Wow. And a five. So that means he belongs to what family? The teen family. That's right. The teen family. Pencils to bed and take out your crayons. Put your crayons right on your name tag. Oh, I love how Connor opens up his crayons and then his hands go right in his lap. He is so quick to do his best. Good job, Connor. Thou God seest me, and God sees him doing his best. Way to go. Now, did God make elephants blue? No. No, he didn't, but we don't have a gray crayon, and elephants are usually gray, but it's fun. We can color it the way that we want to in it on our paper today. So we are going to color him blue. Oh, I love elephants. They're my favorite, one of my favorites. My other favorite is a giraffe, but I just love elephants. Where, besides the zoo, where could we go, where could we travel 
to find an elephant. Let me ask somebody, where can I travel to to find an elephant, Joseph? Uh, to the jungle. Well, to the jungle, you're right. But where would that jungle be? Where would that jungle be, William? And where? Do you remember we traveled there before? Oh, a long way from home. You're right, a very long way from home. Do you remember where that place is? We'd have to get our passports out. We would definitely have to get our passports and we'd have to pack some luggage and we'd have to get our safari hats and we'd probably have to get a safari jacket or a vest and wear our boots. Where would we go? Do you remember, Johanna? To the forest. Well, not really the forest, but I like where y'all are going. Let's see, Carter, do you remember? Hmm. Angelina, where could we go? Africa. To Africa, that is right. We would have to go to Africa because that's where the elephants are in Africa. I have even ridden on an elephant before, but it wasn't in Africa, it was at the zoo, but that's where they got the elephant from. And I got to ride right on the elephant and it was so fun. And his ears were just a flapping and it was so fun. I like elephants. They are fun little animals. Well, I am going to take my blue crayon and I don't want to color his tongue blue. So I'm going to be very, very careful as I color my paper. Let's look at it. I am going to go back and forth, but this time I'm not going to go outside of the lines when I go back and forth. It's not like when we colored our tulips before, when we went back and forth, back and forth, because we're not going to cut our elephant out. So we're not going to scribble outside of the lines. We are going to take our time and do a beautiful job. Because who made the elephants? God. God did, that's right. And we should be so thankful that God made this beautiful elephant, that he made this for us. So we want to take our time and do a nice job for just, oh, I don't know why I hear crayons. Hands should be in our lap still and eyes on the teacher. So we should take our time and make this elephant so beautiful with our blue crayon. Take out your blue crayon, blue crayon check. Does that mean we're coloring right now? No. no. Our helper hand is where? On our paper. Where is it at? On our paper. Well, surely more than just Angelina remembered that. Let's try that again. Where does your helper hand go? On your paper. Good job, Angelina. And then, where does Daddy go? Uh, on your what? Crayon. On your crayon. Where does Mommy go? On top. On top, on your crayon. And what are the babies supposed to be doing? I And you're right here, and they're supposed to be what? Buckled up. They are. They're supposed to be buckled up. So make sure they are buckled up. Helper hand, we are not coloring our hands, our helper hands in the corner. I'm checking. I'm checking. Are we sitting up straight and tall? Because we are not coloring yet. I'm checking. I'm checking mommy and daddy and the babies. Sometimes we just have to stop and check. We haven't had a check in a while. Let's see. Oh, Cyrus, check that helper hand. Check these tummies and these backs. All right. I think we're ready, boys and girls watching. Your babies are buckled up. Good. All right, you may color your elephant. Color neatly. I'm looking for nice, neat papers. Color back and forth, back and forth. Do your best. Just like you did your best with your number 15, do your best when you color your elephant now. If you go the same direction, then it'll look neat. If you go back and forth in different directions, it won't look neat. You can either go up and down or side to side, and then it'll look very, very neat. Take your time and do your best. You are working very hard, and I like this hard work. Good job. Pretty, pretty. Hmm. 
Why do you think God gave the elephant such big ears? I'm going to ask you, don't start, don't yell out at me. I'm just going to ask some questions. Why do you think God gave the elephant such big ears? Hmm. Kayla. Do you know? Hmm. Just, I don't know. Just think. Angelina, why do you think? You don't know either? Her eyes are this big right now. Oh, I don't know. I think it's because maybe when the bugs try to come, they like to fly around them or little birds and little things like try, they can use their ears to go like this because they can't really get their big legs to go like this. You know how dogs sometimes go like this to try to scratch or they get their a bug away from them? Well, I think that's why they use those big ears so they can flap them and try to get the, to swat those bugs away from them. Or if they get hot, they can use them like a fan. They could use those big ears like that. Could you imagine if we walked around with those big ears like that? That would be silly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be. Yeah. What's a way that they can use their big trunk? Yep. Oh, one, one at a time. Yes, they can suck up water with that and they can use it to take a bath. They can, they suck up that water and then they spray themselves like a hose. They use it like a hose. They use it almost like a hand. They can pick up things like those peanuts or other fruit that they like to eat and then they take it and then they put it in their mouth. So it's like almost like a little arm or like a little hand that they can use that for. Isn't it neat how we're learning about all kinds of creatures and how God made each one and how God helps them to survive and to live and how they catch their food? So exciting. I love learning about God's animals. And it would be fun one day. Maybe we could go on safari in Africa and see some of these animals like the giraffe, my favorite, or these cute little elephants. That would be fun. My brother ran elephants. I'm so glad. Very nice, Elijah. All right, let's see some papers here. Let's look. Uh, let me show you Connor's paper. He did a nice job. He's practicing. Very nice. Oh, look at this number 15. Wow. That was a very good number 15. Very pretty. Hmm. Very nice. I'm going to have to show this boy's paper. That's a good paper. Very nice. All right. Go ahead and close up your crayon boxes. Put them inside your desk. Our number today was 15. What number comes after 15? 16. And what number comes after 16? 17. 17, our new number that we've been learning. Good job. Boys and girls watching, I hope you did a beautiful job as you colored your God's create, creation of that elephant and that you did a nice job as you traced and made your very own number 15.